I can't believe I'm still seeing these axle failures. <laughs> On social media, it's ridiculous. Um, I was on social media today, and I've had to make this video because I'm, I think, on one of the Carton UK groups, um, someone posted a picture of an axle failure, right? And I think if you're in the, I mean, I, I can't speak for other countries, I'm, I mainly see what's going on in the UK, but it's that traditional, that kind of frequent axle failure that happens on the engine side. Uh, bearing of the axle and basically the axle snaps and you have the wheel and tire axle and then the sprocket and it's like you see that and you, you go wow that's a catastrophic failure um now i'm not a safety freak like give me a podless car give me a direct drive engine 100 cc no rev limiter and a street circuit and i'm gonna be happy right um but this is different. This is a different safety issue because you go from a personal decision that you make and you, you make your personal risk assessment to suddenly putting other people at risk, other people that can't make that risk assessment. Because one of these flying axles, um, that hits someone in the head that they will die, most likely, if they're driving and they're going at any sort of speed. Uh, they, they can... Uh, if they go, if they fail at a particular area on the circuit, they can find themselves in spectator areas or even beyond. I mean, I've seen it very close at Shennington once, an axle went and the fingers went bang, bang. And I was, I was just watching it and it sort of hit the top of the fence where the, where and that separates the track from the sort of um, public area. But had it not done, had it just gone over, it could have bounced, could have hit a kid, anything like that, very, very easily. And absolutely shocking that still to this day i'm seeing these images and videos pop up on social media right and it's anecdotal understandably but i think um there's a point where anecdotal becomes where, why isn't this being investigated why isn't there any public statements um because currently as it stands i think in the motorsport uk that they, they have like a table of, of um axle diameters and then your depending on the diameter you have a minimum wall thickness and these failures and it's again anecdotal but everyone i've seen and there's been tens i mean i don't know how many i've seen i mean i did a big thing about it years ago on facebook but nothing nothing was done but it, you, you can see that most of the time they're 50 mil axles almost actually i've never seen anything but a 50 mil axle and the wall thickness i think is 1.9 mil 2 mil or something um and I've never seen it on a 30 mil axle, and I've never seen it on a 40 mil axle. And by by the regulations, they have to have thicker thicker walls anyway. Um, and pretty much most 30 mil axles are like solid anyway. I think people that race TKM up until the last what was it 10 years ago you know, will be familiar with that. Um, so we see we seem to have an issue here because these failures are scary. Um, the consequences of which, I mean, I, I've done everything. I've driven on a, I've obviously driven and I've done, uh, filmed, I've photographed on a circuit. And it's the one thing that I was always worried about was uh, one of these failing uh, and then hitting me on the head and killing me, right? And it's not really a, a thing that you should be thinking about, you know? They think that there are failures that happen on a car through poor maintenance or just happen and they're rare enough where you go, couldn't, couldn't see that coming. But every one of these axle failures that I've seen, it's like, yep, that's the same old failure. And now, some people might say it's a failure of maintenance. Um, we don't know why they fail. Some people say it's the resonance of the curbs that, that causes it to kind of a weak point to emerge. It's always it's always the same. Um, and some people say it's where the grub screws aren't uh, properly used and it sort of scores it and then that, that causes a problem. But to me, that's a side issue. Because you can't regulate maintenance unless you want to go through scrutiny where they tell you to take your axle out and they, they perform like a, a, a an x-ray type scan to see if there's any cracks. Um, I'm not sure that's feasible, right? The only feasible thing is quite simply in my view. Again, this is anecdotal, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen a 40 mil go, I've never seen a, a 30 mil go. Is you just ban anything above 40 mil diameter on axles and you pretty much 
eradicate the problem from what I've seen. Now, logistically uh, and waste and economically, that would be a problem because basically you're outlawing hubs that are 50 mil. Um, everyone would have to update their, their bearings and all that kind of stuff. But it's not that difficult to do. And I think um, it's probably a price worth paying. You're not particularly adding complication as such. And I always avert, I'm always averse to adding complication. What you're doing is the, the, a bigger complication is getting hit in the head with one of these, right? Um, so that that's a bigger complication. So I, I I I cannot believe, I cannot believe these failures are still happening. They just shouldn't be happening. In F one, even in F one, in F one, sorry, if there's a tire that that gets loose from its tether, there's like a whole in, like an investigation on why that happened. In kart racing, I I've never seen any any sort of system to um, try and measure or account for these failures. So from a regulatory standpoint, I, d I don't know what's going on. For me, if, if I was writing the regulations, the chassis regulations, um, it'd be a very, very simple fix. I, I wouldn't want to have a death on my hands, firstly from a personal and an emotional level, and then beyond that, the, the legalities of it, Especially when you've, I'm, I'm making a video like this and, and can say that uh, this is an issue that's known, um, that should be looked into uh, from a safety perspective. So, yeah, that's that's all I kind of wanted to to say on the matter. Um, I, I'm just tired of I, I haven't seen I haven't seen it for a while, so I don't know whether it's just because I, I've extricated myself from a lot of social media, so I don't see it as much. Um, but if these failures are still happening and nothing's being done, some serious questions have to be asked. And I don't usually appeal to parents. Um, but yeah, think about what would happen if your kid was driving and they drove into one of these errant pieces of axle. I, I doesn't even bear thinking about it. So have a think about it. I think the solution is very simple. And you don't need to add any technical elements to a car. You don't need tethers or anything like that you just outlaw 50 mil axle it's not even outlaw in it you're just making the range of diameters for 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 axles a little less complicated anyway so i i've run 30 mil i've run 40 mil i've run 50 mil and the only difference is is tenths of a second at best from a from a car in experience from a cost point of view uh 50 mil axles add nothing they add nothing to the sport so yeah some might disagree, please comment, subscribe, like the, like the video, all that kind of stuff. If you disagree, let me know. If you think there's a, not a problem, let me know. If you think there is a problem, let me know. Um, but yes, the, the, the regulations are there and manufacturers build to those regulations. If, unless the regulations change, nothing nothing's going to change. So, um, yeah, just wanted to have a quick, quick chat about it. I posted about it years ago and it's only today that I've seen a couple of more examples of it that I've gone, this hasn't been fixed, has it? You know, this this problem hasn't been fixed or hasn't been addressed in a manner that I believe would, would be satisfactory. So one axle failure is a problem. When I'm seeing multiple axle failures again, we've got, we've got a big problem that, that needs to be looked at. And it's beyond a personal maintenance thing um, because you can't regulate that very easily. Um, and and, and they, they shouldn't be that kind of sensitive Anyway, if it is a if it is a maintenance thing, if it's that sensitive, then maybe something needs to change beyond beyond just um, having a little look at an axle. Okay, so yeah, bit of a serious one, I guess. I just don't want to see someone injured or killed. I'm, I'm as blunt as that. I don't want to see that again. So yeah, take it from someone who has has seen the, the worst that karting can do. And I, I again, I, I'm I'm all about personal choice to a certain extent but these instances they remove personal choice because no one i guess chooses to have that coming at their head um so yeah something very serious to think about and um yeah i guess i guess thanks for watching i wish it was more upbeat but sometimes you have to be a bit more serious